I have in front of me two mixers, two different brands, and this is going to be a two-part video. This is video one, and what we're going to do is talk about mixer routing. So you might have a new mixer, you're planning on getting a new mixer, but you're just overwhelmed with uh, how you can get it going, or set it up, or what you have to do, things like that. Well, I'm going to go through that with you, so it's less confusing and uh, less overwhelming. Hopefully, if you still have trouble, leave a comment below, and I'll help you out. So first of all, this is the PV10 mixer. It has 10 channels, 6 mono, and two of them are stereo. So stereo uses a channel each, so 7, 8, and 9, and 10. So it's basically 2 and 1. That's how stereo works. Over here is the Zenix 1622FX Behringer mixer. It's got a few different things, such as selectors. Alright, so you have your mixer, what you want to do. You get your microphone, you have your microphone, everything. First thing you want to do is you want to you want to hook up your stuff where it should go. If you can hook up a home theater system, it's pretty much almost the same thing with a mixer, just a bit different. But generally the same. You know, you got your RCA, and then these look like headphone jacks. These are quarter inch jacks, and these are XLRs. Alright, so you want to connect your microphone, whether it's a quarter inch or XLR. Now, first of all, this here is a condenser mic, MXL990. If you have a condenser mic, it's going to require phantom power, which this mixer and that mixer supports is phantom power. And the phantom power button here is there, 48 volts. You want to make sure that's on. With uh, normal dynamic microphones, it doesn't so much matter. I'm going to show you here. This is a dynamic microphone, just a low-end one. You don't need phantom power for it. You can just connect it right to your mixer without the phantom power. All right. So you have your microphone connected. You want to make sure your gain is up. Most of the problems that people have when they're new to all this stuff is that they don't realize there's a gain control. They just think, oh, I plug it in, and I adjust this, and I adjust my masters here. Some people who are new don't realize that there's actually a gain control. It's pretty much a preamp. It sets the, the gain of your input. For instance, if you have a microphone, I would set the gain to about 7 or 8. Depends on the mic you have and depends on how you want the levels. If I have a line in, like through the RCA or quarter inch, I would select it to half or maybe lower because that's line level. Because uh, microphones need a higher gain because they're, they're really high impedance and low, low levels where a line level signal is a line level signal and that's, uh, that's higher than a microphone so you want to take your gain down or you're going to have distortion. Then pretty much everything else is pretty simple. It's like your treble and bass. You got high, mids, and lows for that channel. You got a 80 hertz cutoff on this one to cut off the frequencies below 80 hertz. Then you come down you have your mute button make sure the mute is off then your pan and balance which is left and right and your sliders now for me to look at this there's pretty much no other routing that I have to do to get the sound to come out of the output now this mixer has a monitor send which I can use to send to monitors on a stage or some sort of other input which is a mono signal not stereo. I got tape to control headphones, tape to mix, which is this mix in here. There's no volume control for this, so any input that you have hooked to this has to have its own volume control. You just select it, it goes to the masters. This is a pretty simple mixer. You have your selectors for A and B, and uh, A is quarter inch, and B is RCA. And that's how you identify that mixer. I hope this video did help. There is a second video that I hope everybody watches. If you like our videos, subscribe. And make sure to check out the second video on mixer routing, which will be about this Behringer mixer, which is a little bit more complicated. We'll chat at you later.